educate your friends. Our country needs a solid group who really understand how our money is manipulated and what the solutions really are. Because if a depression comes, there will be those who call themselves conservatives who will come forward advancing solutions framed by the international bankers. Beware of calls to return to a gold standard. Why? Simple. Because never before has so much gold been so concentrated outside of American hands. And never before has so much gold been in the hands of international governmental bodies such as the World Bank and International Monetary Fund. A gold-backed currency usually brings despair to a nation, and to return to it would certainly be a false solution in our case. Remember, we had a gold-backed currency in 1929 and during the first four years of the Great Depression. Likewise, beware of any plans advanced for a regional or world currency. This is the international banker's Trojan horse. Educate your member of Congress. It only takes a few persuasive members to make the others pay attention. Most congressmen just don't understand the system. Some understand it, but are so influenced by bank PAC contributions that they ignore it, not realizing the gravity of their neglect. We hope we've made a valuable contribution to the national debate on monetary reform. It remains for each man to do his duty, consistent with his state in life. May God give us the light to help reform our nation and ourselves. We say ourselves because ultimately vast multitudes of men are going to be driven more and more to desperation by the accumulation of the world's wealth in fewer and fewer hands. Men will tend to become like their oppressors, selfish and greedy. Rather, let's keep in mind during this period of reform a warning not to lose sight of greater things, as Pope Pius XI put it. For what will it profit men that a more prudent distribution and use of riches make it possible for them to gain even the whole world, if thereby they suffer the loss of their own souls? What will it profit to teach them sound principles in economics, if they permit themselves to be so swept away by selfishness, by unbridled and sordid greed, that hearing the commandments of the Lord, they do all things contrary.